So it's your first time in um, Armenia. What are your first impressions? Well, I think one of the things I notice first about any city that I visit or any country that I visit is just the impact of, uh, of young society on the town and on the, on the, on the landscape. And it's really true to say that I'm often very upset and disturbed when I visit a lot of beautiful cities in Europe and I find that uh, wonderful buildings have been defaced with graffiti and, and generally are not valued and respected by, uh, by the people of the, the young people of the town who do that damage. But coming here I've noticed there's very little graffiti and the streets are clean and that could suggest one of two things, either that it is a city where there is a strong authoritarian control, tough police, big uh, uh, fines and prison sentences for causing litter or graffiti, or it could suggest that people here have a pride in their city and they have a more traditional and respectful outlook on the on their immediate environment. And I hope that it's the that the latter. It's the second of those two possibilities. But you know, that's my first impression. Is it's clean and it's tidy, and people look clean and tidy, and they have a smile on their face. So I think my first impression is of a, 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 of a good society, and that to me is very important. Talking of respect, uh, I've been following the rock scene in Armenia for 10 years, and one band that always comes up with the young rock stars is always Jeff Rotel. Uh, you, you probably don't imagine just what a big influence you've had on uh, the rock scene here. How does that make you feel? Well, it's, it's, it's not a good idea to be um, told those kind of things, you know, I, I, it's, I, I think wherever we go, you know, there's going to be some people who will know our music and it will have made some impression on them, but it's, um, I think it's always good to assume when you travel around the world that where you go to visit somebody that they really don't know very much about you and that you have an opportunity to, to perform to people and for them, it's a first-time experience. It's, for us, a first-time experience. Where it's, it's the closest I can get to turning back the clock to the times when I first started to perform concerts. So it's one of the reasons that I do play every year in two or three places that I've never been to before. Because it's, it's like turning the clock back to a state of, uh, of more of a naive adventure and uh, where I don't think the expectations are uh, as strong as they would be as if I was playing in London or in Frankfurt or Los Angeles. Coming here, it's a little bit more of a first-time adventure. So it's, um, it's a blind date with a new girlfriend. That's what it is. Well, good luck on your blind date. Thank you. Yeah. And